a massive honor to introduce our next guest. I always get that lovely, warm, fuzzy feeling inside every time I see her, because she reminds me it absolutely does get better. No matter what the struggle is as a young LGBT queer person, there is always an option for you. There is always a place to go, a person to listen, and someone who's there looking out for your future. Our next guest was our Grand Marshal last year. She's welcome to the stage with her partner in crime, Seamus. Please give it up to the glorious Meninia Griffith from Belong To! Happy Pride, everyone. It's Self and Seamus arrived on the Lewis this morning with 400 LGBTI young people from all over Ireland. We had a gorgeous big breakfast up in, with our friends in Youth Work Ireland and we welcomed and we saw young people arriving in from Donegal and Kerry and Kildare and all over Ireland. Some of them, it's their first Pride. And there's probably lots of people here, it's your first Pride too. So you're very, very welcome. <laughs> We have some, we have lots of amazing people marching with us today, but we have some, uh, some wonderful parents as well who are here to support their LGBT kids. And some of the parents that we have marching with us t today are former president uh, Mary McAleese and her husband Martin McAleese who are here to s support their son Justin and his husband. And we also heard that the Taoiseach's parents, Miriam and Ashok Varadkar, are going to march today as well to, in support of their gay son. But you know what? They're not just here for their own kids. For those of you, many of you who are here today, uh, we are your family today. You know, not all of us are lucky enough to have the support of our biological family, but we're here today gathered in many numbers with our logical family. So happy Pride to all of us, and we are all family. Okay, before I hand you over to Seamus, I just want to tell you to have a look out for Jer and some of the Belong To uh, volunteers up in Smithfield. They're handing out gorgeous Pride sesh packs, gorgeous tote bags, and they've got loads of stuff inside to make sure that you have a safe uh, Pride, because safety is sexy. So we want you to have to look after your mental health, your sexual health, and uh, get lots of information about having to stay safe uh, this Pride and, uh, and harm reduction around drug and alcohol. So I'm going to hand you over to a young person now who was one of the first young people I met when I joined Belong to nearly three years ago. And um, I, he was kind of quiet when I met him first. Uh, but loads of natural talent and ability and with a little bit of support and a bit of a nudge in the right direction he has been all over Ireland and abroad representing Belong To and Individuality and he was on the youth advisory group of the LGBTI youth strategy and he's going to talk a bit about that and he was also um, a colleague of mine on the Gender, Re Gender Act Review group so he really has found his, his voice and he is an amazing advocate. Seamus Byrne everybody. Thank you, Meninia, and uh, happy Pride, everybody! My name is Seamus, I'm surprisingly 19 years old, and I'm from County Meath. I've been attending Belong To Youth Services for the past three and a half years, and I can honestly say they were the greatest three and a half years of my life so far. Probably one of my biggest achievements, I've had a lot of achievements through Belong To, but one of my biggest would be being a member of the Youth Advisory Panel for the LGBTI Plus National Youth Strategy, which launched yesterday. The very first kind, very first of its kind in the world, so hopefully we'll get people from other countries listening in and getting stuff like that happening in their countries. But it was all thanks to people like Minister Catherine Zapon, the people on the groups, uh, the strategy groups, Una Malali, our chair, and everyone that was on the youth advisory panel. We've worked an awful, awful long time on this. Well, to us it was an awful long time. To most people it would be just a minor time, but for us it was about 18 months of work. We had consultations in different counties in Ireland. We had an online consultation. We reached about 4,000 young people, had all their voices heard, and made sure everything that was said was put in that strategy to hopefully change this country for the better for our young people. Another thing that I was lucky enough to be a part of was the Gender Recognition Act Review Group. Now, I was up on this stage last year 
talking about gender recognition for young people, for non-binary people, and self-declaration in general. I'm, I'm guessing somebody heard me, because they put me on the panel to put me representing the young trans people of Ireland, which is pretty mental. But, uh, you know, it was um, our lovely Marshal, Grand Marshal, Sarah Phillips was on it, and of course Meninia was our chair, and then there was people from other places as well, and it was just a wonderful time, and I feel so honoured to have been selected to represent the young trans people of Ireland, and hopefully things sort out, and everyone is happy and jolly and that stuff. So yeah, and um, thanks very much. Uh, happy birthday to belong to, they turned 15 the other day. And yeah, happy Pride.